If you've gone outside over the past couple of days, you've probably realized that it's warm. In fact, it's very, very warm with many areas across the country breaking their record warm temperatures. Well, it looks like we're finally going to see an end to this as we see a lot of cold polar air make its way down to the north, and this is going to bring snow in places we don't normally see snow as well as severe weather. Let's not screw around any longer and take a look at what we expect is going to happen. All right, starting on the GFS here, we're just kind of taking a look at what the upper level winds are doing, any troughs that we might see come through here. And right there, we see a nice negatively tilted bowling ball right about schmear and that's going to bring our next system into the united states over here on the euro ensemble now let's take a look at some of these temperatures we're expecting to see so these are the temperatures at the time of recording this video and we can see that there's a lot of mildly warm temperatures well into the central united states however as we drag the time slider out here we can see that that warmth gets pushed off to the south by a lot of cold air coming down from the north. This cold air coming in from the north is what's going to drive the next severe system and snowmaker in the United States. Now, if you know me, you know I love snow, and unfortunately, I don't get to talk about myself getting snow. So if I seem a little angry in this next segment, that's because if you're getting snow and I'm not, I don't like you. Anyway, over on the GFS here, let's take a look at where we're actually expecting to see that snow fall. And I know you're probably looking up here off to the north saying, hey, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Midwest, we haven't seen much. Well, let's drag that slider out and boom, Texas and Oklahoma. Because why would that snow not fall in Texas and Oklahoma? Because that just makes sense for this year. Anyways, as we drag that slider out further, we can see that there's a nice swath of snow across the central United States here. And if you're in the Midwest, guess what? You're skunked. If you're in the deep south, you're skunked. It's really only here in the central United states that we're seeing this swath of snow now these gfs snow totals have been absolutely crazy and they're not going to happen so i'm not going to show them to you guys earlier the gfs was calling for somewhere around 25 inches of snow in northern texas and you know what unfortunately that's just not going to happen so we're not going to talk about it what we're going to do instead is just keep an eye out for any winter storm watches winter storm warnings or winter storm advisories that may go out now onto something a little more common for this time of the year let's talk about the severe threat in the deep south the spc has issued a slight risk for Sunday, February 11th for parts of Texas, Louisiana. So let's take a look at what we're expecting to happen there. Over on the Euro here, we're taking a look at dew points. Now, anywhere with yellows or oranges, these are areas where we will have significant moisture that will be favorable for severe thunderstorms. Now, as we drag the time slider forward, we can see this system come in here from the west and just sort of push this moisture off to the east. When this happens, this is how we see the formation of strong thunderstorms that could produce tornadoes. Now, obviously, just having moisture isn't all you need for severe thunderstorms you need the actual thunderstorm too, believe it or not. Anywhere we're seeing yellows, reds, oranges, and pinks, this is where we're going to be seeing strong thunderstorms with a lot of lightning. We can kind of see these dance around central Texas here into Louisiana, and right here is where we're looking at our main event severe weather-wise. Now, we are still pretty far away from this event, so there's not much we can do in terms of specific locations right now, but this is something we need to keep an eye on over the next few days. If we see drastic changes, I'll be back here posting another video, so make sure you like and subscribe to this channel because I know you guys I don't want to miss that. All right, guys. Well, if there's more on this system, I'll talk to you then. Other than that, bye.